in it, isn't it? Then it becomes an innovation in the same area. But it's a matter of time. Before you were not using it, but now you are using it, so it's an innovation. That's the time aspect. So, innovation, if when you are talking about innovation, you need to see the aspect of new, new thing, which may be in time or in space. Another point of innovation is that it needs to be to be valuable. It needs to have some socio-economic impact or benefits to people. That's what makes the difference between an invention and an innovation. An invention may be an innovation, but may not be an innovation. So make a difference between invention and innovation. Who can give an example to make it more clear? The difference between invention and innovation. So in the case, for example, uh, when uh, with the dead bottle water that you use and um, going way back, we used to just put this water in rubber in this time. And uh, we brought this bottle of water. So it's in a way, it's a, it's a, a way of innovation. And why? Uh, right. Because if you brought a new thing, new thing, is it enough to say that it's an innovation? No, but the, the packaging, yeah, okay. then uh, the market and the rest just improves. And uh, I mean, the way of uh, storing it as well also improves. You have uh, an upside, uh, a, a goal score or goal not score being determined by the assistant referee and the referee. Now we have the bar where when you are in doubt, then you consult the bar. To me, it is an innovation as well as an invention. This is just how I look at it. It means now digitalized. I would say that's an intervention. Uh, it's an invention. Invention. But not an it's not an innovation. Maybe a device. That once you speak to it, it translates it into what? Well, it's the great device. Yes. That once you speak any language, it can translate it to either English, Spanish, or French. So that's an invention. Therefore, an innovation. Let's just look at some of the So this one is not an innovation for you. That's an classic as an invention. Is it an innovation or not? <laughs> well, I see it as an invention. Okay. So let, let me give my innovation. Yes. For this one, the first one. You know what we always do. So it's only an We can innovate on that. So we started off, like you were saying, we started off typing. Now we have the innovation where you can speak and it types for you. So that's an innovation on an invention. But I think that before you can start even inventing, you have to innovate something. But the invention is usually the best. I would say a new thing and an innovation would be an, um, an, an adaptation or an improvement on the invention. But you also innovate as you invent. Uh, currently, I use my projector. There's a new projector now that I use as TV in my room. So I don't want to use TV. So I can just project and connect and start watching TV. For that one, it's something new to me, totally. Now, the TV that he is talking about, those times we have black and white. Now we have smart TV. That we connect. So at that particular moment, the like innovation is an added advantage. They yeah, have improved our own. But using a projector now as a TV is a new thing to me. Thank you. It's so to me, invention is about the discovery of creating something. That is invention. But now, before that one can come into existence, you need to 
create something that I guess you can first. It's all the that you And so, at that time, we are trying to innovate, as my sister said. So once you are able to bring that on board, you are invented. For instance, when you take the telephone, the phone that we have been using, Initially, we had been using the Yams, the Motorola, the Nokia. It, it was invented. Now, as we came into it, we realized that we can improve upon it to have the smartphones. And so, the smartphones idea was conceived and it was innovative. And by that time, we have been able to improve upon the, the Yams and have the smartphones. So the smartphone at this point become the innovative technology. So the, the invention is about discovery or creating something very new. But before then, you have to have the idea, have that new idea of creating it. And that is the innovation side. So once you are able to bring that aspect into effect, it becomes an invention. So once it is there, you are able to let's say, have a new idea to improve upon it. Then that one too knows my information. So that is my second question. <laughs> but anyway, I'll say it and we'll discuss it there. Okay, first invention. As some of us, some of you like is new for the world. First, something new for the world. New, very new. There is no smart, there is no telephone before somebody wanted this. It's new. It's an invention. Okay? So invention is something new. To the world. Not for your country or for your place. It's new. Nobody knows it before and you invented it. New. So this is much. First thing, when does it become an innovation? It's an innovation when it has social economic benefits for those who are using it. Socioeconomic benefit. Because there are some inversions which doesn't have social economic benefit. For example, if we discover the tenth planet today, is it changing the life of many of us? Maybe. How? Are you going to live the world? So it's not. Then it's an emotion. It's an emotion. Somebody discovered it. Okay? It's new for us as an emotion. Because an emotion may be an information. Okay? It may be also an information. The world didn't have the information yet. And this guy who worked and discovered it to bring us to the information. So it's new. Completely new for us. So it's something. It may be an information. It may be a product. It may be a device. That's the image. Okay? This is first new. With no social benefit to us. But somebody who discovered or who in, 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 fabricated or invented a telephone. But now you can stay here and talk to somebody in a car. You don't need to travel and go and see him. For the talk to him. So you save time, you save energy, you, you save risk, all those things. So you know, it, it makes our life more easy. I remember at that time when we want to, to speak to or talk to a lady, you need to know a problem to give him to school and go and stay, sit there and wait for her. Okay, when she will be passing. You stop and talk. But now, just give me your number. And that's that. It's gone. It's gone. You can say anything from where you are. Even doing your own business. Even being here. Then you are in trading, but you are chatting with somebody, maybe at home or somewhere. So it's, it's, it changes our life. So it has a social economic benefits. Now, there are innovations which are not inventions. Also. There are innovations which are not in Russia. 